Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a crucial aspect of Angular development, unit testing a login component. Our viewer has posed an interesting question about how to effectively write tests for the login component in Angular 2. Let's dive into the details and uncover the best practices for ensuring your login functionality is robust and reliable. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. To write a unit test for the login component in Angular, we first need to set up our testing environment. This includes importing necessary modules and configuring the testing module. Next, we will create a test suite for the login component. This is done using the describe function, where we will define our component and the user service mock. In the before each block, we will configure the testing module. Here, we declare the login component and provide a mock for the user service. Now, we will write a test case to ensure that the login method from the user service is called when we invoke the login function in the login component. Finally, we will run our tests to ensure everything is functioning correctly. This will help us verify that our login component behaves as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To write a unit test for a login component in Angular, make sure to call compile components before creating your component. This is crucial for proper setup. It's also recommended to create a reference to the fixture in the before each block. This allows you to access the component instance easily in your tests. Ensure your tests actually trigger actions. For example, you can check if the login method is called when a specific action occurs in the component. Remember, if you're only testing method calls, there's no need to use async. You can also use fixture.tech changes if needed, but it's not always necessary. For more comprehensive tests, consider checking the state of the component after actions, like verifying changes in the DOM or the behavior of the user service. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.